Okay, we are at Split Rock and we are at the bottom in the place you're not supposed to park. But everybody's parked here. There were a whole bunch of cars where... <clears throat> but you come up into this part of the rocks and it's like 20 degrees cooler. It is like so cool in here. Cool and cold. It's probably 85 outside and in here it's not. It's like really cold. Yet the boys are like, ooh, we like it in here. <laughs> it's really cool. We're going to see if we can find another really cool place though. The Split Rock Quarry is a old small quarry just west of Syracuse in the town of Onondaga. It originally was a limestone quarry established in 1834 until 1880 delivering limestone used in the salve process by a remarkably elevated conveyor that was about two miles long to the industrial plant in Salve, New York. The quarry was abandoned in 1912. However, in 1915, during World War I, Split Rock became the site of a munitions factory operated by the Semit Salve Company. The plant employed 250 people when it exploded on July 2, 1918, killing at least 50. The explosion allegedly occurred in the mixing motor of the main TNT building when the motor bearings overheated and caught fire. The fire rapidly spread through the wooden structure of the main factory and the firefighting efforts were hampered by a loss of water pressure and the factory eventually exploded. Approximately three tons of TNT were involved in the blast which leveled the entire structure and led to the death of 50 men and over 50 injured. Large quantities of TNT and picric acid awaiting shipment were stored in magazines and warehouses across the valley from the main factory. However, the fire did not spread to these, luckily, and the production of picric acid and nitric acid and other products continued throughout the remainder of the war after the explosion was cleaned up. Following the war, the site was abandoned, and eventually the State Department of Transportation used it as a maintenance parking facility. Today, the area is largely is used by mountain bikers and motorcyclers and as a shooting gallery in Split Rock, as well as the remains of the limestone quarry and the munitions factory are preserved in a 32-acre New York State unique area. So my son and I had decided that we were going to go for a walk um, around the Split Rock area. The historical significance of the area is pretty cool, and um, sometimes you find interesting artifacts and stuff. But the area is pretty well used by hoodlums, vandals, and ne'er-do-wells. It's full of uh, graffiti and trash, and it's not really the best place to take the boys because there's so much glass and trash around that I worry about their paws a little bit. But um, they weren't doing anything for a week, so we could bandage them up and take care of them. So, But this is um, from the top of the cliff. Let's join the, the hike. See, they've talked about making this, making this like a a place. A memorial. Well, kind of like a park of some sort, with you know, Gimpy. Look at Dakota. They're interested. They're very interested. Where do people crawl down in there? Sure. See if you can fit. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Don't be sliding down on my thing now. <laughs> We're going to go over to the crusher and see if we can find any skeletons or bodies left from the 1918 or 20s or whenever it was that this all blew up. This is the tomb. This is the crusher. 
It's called the crusher because it was used to crush stones from the quarry way back in the 1800s. The entire crusher was hand built by the people who worked in the quarry. And the crusher is currently the only um, existing part of the split rock quarry and the um, TNT the factory left that's recognizable. It is pretty uh, amazing all the tunnels and Look at this. Uh, catacombs that are behind it and under it. Oh, there have been people back here. It has been used for paranormal measurements. Well, this goes way the hell back over in here. A number of TV shows have uh, come on site. You coming? Paranormal activity in the area. No, they can follow. And um, they have said that there are blue lights and visions of people and uh, aberrations and things that happen while people are there with the right instruments. So big wooden beams holding the whole thing up <laughs> from 1918. Come on. It's a pretty interesting place. Hey, where the dog? <laughs> Probably up in the top. <laughs> See, we were behind that. The cave's behind it. Did the cave come all the way back on the other side? Yeah. See. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that other passage was. Yeah. Go back and take some. Well, I want to figure out if there's anything back here. It would appear that Split Rock is mostly taken over by dirt bikes. Um, when I was young, it was mostly mountain bikes. But now, all the trails are pretty obvious that there's no mountain biking. <laughs> it's, well, there might be mountain biking, but for the majority, it's the trails are banked up and worn up like a motorized dirt bike has been running on them and we did see one while we were in here doing little skids all over the place but we found a bike path through the woods <laughs> probably but there was a bunny rabbit there. So we found this bicycle path and we followed it for a ways because I was looking for uh, another trail that I used to walk um, down through the valley that was a pretty nice trail in the woods and there was a lot of wildlife. And the trail finally ended so <laughs> we had to cut down this we cliff. We are blazing through the woods. And uh, I'm teaching my son how to bushwhack or how to die. <laughs> Find our way back to where it was going. So this is uh, come on, Caesar. This is over the come on over the tailings and rocks that were thrown over the edge of this cliff, and it's, it's pretty pretty rough hiking through here. Come on, Caesar. Go around. Go around. Good boy. Here's the old man. The old man says, I took my time. Keep going. Go ahead, Dakota. Go. Here comes Caesar. This is a really nasty piece of bushwhack. We're coming down on a very rocky cliff that you can't imagine how bad this really is. And the boys, of course, are very tired and hot. And so is this boy. <laughs> I think the only really serious part is what you think are rocks. Are soggy old trees that collapse out under your feet. <laughs> yeah. 
he found the path. 